Hey, how's it going? This is Guitar Hacker. Welcome to this video. Um, in this particular series here, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, free home studio for multi-tracking, mixing, mastering, the whole spiel um, for basically nothing. When I say free, this is assuming that you have a decent computer, an audio interface, and something to plug into that audio interface. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to a site called uh, Reaper. Dot FM and uh, we'll bring that up this is what the site looks like what this is it's a, it's a, a free DAW with uh, unlimited tracks unlimited effects yada yada when I say free it uh, it actually isn't free free they give you a nag screen but so far I haven't really found any limitations on this you can uh, export you can bring plugins in you can mix you can master you can do whatever you want but um, with things like this don't be a dick eventually if you can afford it go ahead and buy it um, but you can use it pretty much unlimited until that point but uh, what you want to do is uh, right up here at the top left you, you'll hit download Reaper and uh, you want to pick your proper version, whether you're on a Mac or whether you're on a Windows, and you also want to pick the proper 64-bit or 32. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it, but you would download the, the version you want. And once you have this downloaded, you want to go ahead and install it. And after this thing installs, it's going to ask you if you want to run Reaper now. Just click out of that and hit No. And uh, the next thing I want you to go to, once we have this Reaper downloaded to... Uh, your uh, desktop and once you have it installed just go ahead and click no when it asks you to run it and the next thing I want you to do we'll go back to the Googles and the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to a site called MT power drum kit dot com and that'll pop up right here and what we're going to do here now is to start to build the foundation for the free home studio that we're going to build is we're going to get a free drum kit. And uh, this is probably the best one I came across. And uh, you can download this free. You can use it indefinitely for free. But again, this does have a screen on it where you can donate to the gentleman who, uh, who built this program. And by all means, don't be a dick. If you can afford to do it, go ahead and donate this guy some money. If not, you can do it a little bit later on. But go ahead and download it. There'll be this uh, blue button right here. Just download it and wait till it downloads. And uh, once you have your um, Reaper downloaded and you have uh, your drum kit downloaded, we're going to go ahead and fire it up and I'm going to show you how to use this drum kit and how to um, multi-track it and everything. This will be, again, this is the first uh, video in the series. So let's go on and uh, move to the next step. All right, guys. Um, next step we want to do is uh, once you have your power drum kit downloaded, um, it'll be this folder right here. And you always want to download this stuff to your desktop. It just makes it so much easier. First thing I want you to do, this will make it very simple for you um, to get started right away. Just go ahead and right click, create a new folder on your desktop. And you want to name that, uh, tell you what, just for brevity's sake, just name it VSTs. That's normally what these things are called, virtual instruments. Basically, what that's, that's what that's short for. And incidentally, if the, I know these videos can be a little small. Um, you can hit uh, down in the right corner of this video somewhere. You can hit theater mode, which will make it bigger. Or you can hit full screen and watch it that way if it helps. But all we need to be concerned with now is um, we want to open up. Uh, let me pull these up here a little bit. We want to open up this MT drum kit folder. And inside the folder, there'll be another folder that we need to open up. And we're going to see a list of five files. You'll have your manual terms of use. Don't care about that right now. MIDI mapping, don't worry about that. Installation, it's pretty straightforward. Don't worry about that. That's what we're going to cover right now. The only two files you need to be concerned with, mtpowerdrumkit.dll, mtpowerdrumkit.content. Content, sorry, that's all we need to deal with. So we want to grab this one, and we just pull it into this folder, and we come down, we grab this one, and we pull that into the VST folder. Let that do that. Let's X out of this. Let's make sure that uh, we have those two in there. Yes, we do. That's all we need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire up Reaper. And incidentally, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain up here. That's just uh, Reaper recording my voice for this voiceover. So step number one, what we want to do first is if you're new to this, if you're not, just bear with me. 
we want to come across the top, there'll be a bunch of tabs and uh, you'll come across one that says options. So let's select options. Let's go all the way down to preferences. And the first thing you want to look at is uh, about a quarter of the way down, you'll see audio and you'll see device and you want to click on device and whatever uh, interface that you're using should pop up right here. And you want to make sure you have that set for uh, ASIO, which is a um, the uh, protocol that it uses, most of them use anyway. And you want to make sure your device is selected. You don't want this on Windows Audio or anything like that. You can use this with Windows Audio, but the uh, processing power and the sound quality just isn't going to be there. And when it comes to a, um, buying an, inter an interface, you don't have to. I'm using a Scarlett 212. I think I bought it new with uh, the microphone. The whole spiel, the whole kit was like 250 But you can buy these things for 50 bucks on eBay all day long. And they do make, I have a, two, a, a dual input version, but you can also buy just a single if you're going to be messing with one instrument. So having said that, I can't show you my device because it won't let me because it's recording. So let's go down to the next step that you need to do. It's pretty simple. You get down here to VST about three quarters of the way down. You'll see a folder that says plugins, compatibility, VST. You want to click on VST and there'll be a whole crap load of... Uh, files right here and you want to hit edit and when you hit edit you just want to hit add and we want to navigate to our vst folder that we created on our desktop we'll hit that and we hit okay and right underneath you'll see a button here that says rescan all you do is rescan it and as you can tell it found power drum kit you want to hit apply and you want to hit okay so uh next step we want to do is we just want to add a track but on this particular case we have to add a virtual instrument track so we hit the track button at the top we toggle down until it says insert virtual instrument on new track and I'll show you what happens when we do that it'll pop up and your very first virtual instrument that you see should be right here it should be the MT power drum kit from Manda audio you could also find it by going down to uh, down here at the bottom all, all your plugins and everything will be here so you want to hit and select OK and that'll go ahead and, and this is important so pay attention on this particular one on this video and just to get you started as quick as humanly possible you'll still be able to mix like this but what I want you to select it's going to ask you if you want to multi-track all your drums for right now we don't want to do that I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video and I'll tell you why we're going to do it that way in the next video but for now just hit no and what that's going to do is it's going to dump the drums into a stereo track that you can jam along to or, or cut some demos or what have you this is the uh for lack of a better word, this is the nag screen. If you can't afford to donate to this gentleman, please go ahead. This is hard work making these kind of things. If you can't afford, afford it, don't worry about it. Just skip it. I've already donated, so um, and I'm too lazy to enter my damn code down here. So uh, one of these days I'll do that. But just go ahead and hit skip, and you'll be presented with the uh, the actual drum kit. Now, before we hear any sounds or we do anything, uh, well, actually, incidentally, let me show you this. If you get something that looks like this, it's this j jarbled bunch of sliders and knobs and numbers, don't worry about any of that. Just go up here to the top right and hit the UI button. That'll give you the, what, what's called the user interface. And uh, the next step that we have to do, it's very simple, but if you don't do this, you're not gonna hear the drums when I uh, show you how to do this stuff on uh, this particular segment. So. Let's go over here to, uh, we want to right click where this bar would be, where your output bar would be, and you'll see you're selected, you have a bunch of options you can choose from. You go down to probably about halfway down, it says record output. You want to go to record output, just go to record output uh, multi-channel latency compensated. It's the very first one on the list. So we're going to re be recording the output instead of a media input on this particular instance. So now, when I hit these drums here, you should be able to hear them. Yeah, there you go. You can, and as, you, as you can see, it's also uh, recording it as well. And you have your cymbals and uh, kick. You have, they even throw in a china, which is kind of cool. But if you notice, um, let me drag this up here. If you look down here at the bottom, there's a drum kit button down here to the bottom left. There's a mixer button. There's a play button in between. And then there's a grooves button. Now, if, uh, 
you're cutting a quick demo, you know, you're doing a bass, guitar, drum, vocal. You just need something simple, simple scratch pad. Here's what we do. You go ahead and, and you record the drums. And, uh, well, here, let's, let's go into grooves. We'll just, it gives you a bunch of grooves. Let's do a, an intro. Uh, we'll select the intro. We'll go down here. We'll put that there. We'll go down to this folder, which will give us a straight ahead groove. We'll select, let's just select the second one. And then it'll give us a bunch of fills also. So let's just, we'll grab a random fill. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little play button down here. And it'll, it should play the groove here. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, and it'll, it'll keep looping that until you press the play button. And there's also a play button here. But the next important thing, let's say you have, let's say you, you, you made a song, you have all your grooves um, dragged down in here. And I'll explain this in the next video, how to get that up into uh, your actual track when we multi-track the drums. But uh, for right now, this is just giving you a stereo mix. You can build whatever grooves you want. And uh, you can just go ahead and play along. You can play them manually. But what I want to point out to you before we get out of this video is if you hit the mixer button, let's say you recorded, you know, you have your standard rock and roll band. You have a bass. You have two guitars. You have drums. And, you, you know, you can obviously you have a single instrument with each guitar and the bass and the vocal. But let's say your, your hi-hat's not sounding loud enough or your kick's just not where you need it to be. You just hit this mixer button and you'll, pre you'll be presented with a mixer. And if you look way, every one of these has its own little fader. So if you want to pull the kick back a little bit, you just grab the kick, pull it back. And I also recommend that you turn off these compressors. I really have seen no use for those here. And incidentally, this one to the far right over here is your master volume. So if it's farting out down here in your track like it is here a little bit, you just want to go ahead and, and pull that down. And also, before we get out of this video, a quick video is up top. If you'll notice, you'll see snare and it says sidekick. So if I hit snare, it'll play the snare. Side stick is basically just uh, a different kind of snare, like the blues thing where they click on it. Okay. But if you hit this button here, it'll combine the two into one track, which is what I always do. Same thing with your hi-hat open and your hi-hat closed. If you hit this little speaker icon and then you hit it again, it'll be open. But if you uh, go ahead and click that button, these two will be thrown on the same track. And you have three different toms. You have, a, you have a, hot, um, a high, you have a mid, and you have a low. And those can be mixed as well. But you see how they're being mixed together because I uh, selected this up top. Uh, you can do that with this too, the ride and the bell. The ride symbol is the ride itself. The bell is just what it says, riding on the bell. And then this one here, you click that. And it gives you your crash and it gives you your china. I don't ever use the china, but just to hear what these sound like. That's just your ride symbol. And then this would be your bell. Here's your crash. There's your right crash, and this would be the china. Okay, so let's click that as. And um, as I say, you can uh, go back into grooves. You can record a groove. You can see it's recording right there. Okay, and you can get down through, let me turn that off, you can get down through and select all different ones. They have, um, they have a lot to choose from, as you can see. Let's, let's just pull something here at random. This says eighth ride, six, eight time. This ought to be interesting. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah. Nice blues groove. Let's try the fill. Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay, so there you get the idea. As you can tell, it's multi-tracking because of the setting that I showed you how to do. It's multi-tracking all the drums into uh, a stereo track to make really quick mixes and you know quick demos and all that. And, it, and once again, if you need to, once you get that, you know, your demo laid down, or you get your uh, your idea for a song that, that you're recording, and something just doesn't sound right, you just go into the mixer itself. And you can go ahead and give whatever blend you want in the stereo mix, which saves a shitload of time. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to multi-track every drum and every cymbal. And the reason why that you would like to do something like that is to make a high-quality demo. Like, for example, 
we can compress the kick, we can add um, low end, we can add EQ, snare, we can throw reverb on it, we can do pretty much whatever we want because all the effects are included in Reaper. And once again, this is Guitar Hacker, uh, this is Pat, I thank you for watching the video. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great, I'd love to have you. And look for part two where I show you how to multi-track these drums. And after that, I'm going to show you how to actually, if you're a guitarist, I'm going to show you how to find a free plugin where you can actually play your guitar and it'll turn it into a bass. And then after that, we're just, I'm basically going to take you, walk you through this whole um, free home studio course. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to get into mastering. We're, we're going to do a quick rock and roll jam. We're going to mix, we're going to master, we're going to add effects, yada, yada. And once again, thanks for watching. Have a good Saturday night. Have a good weekend. Over and out, guys. See you next time.